Hey everybody, it's comic creator Brian Polito, and I'm coming at you all during the month of July, every day, to show you and celebrate the fact that I've been collecting comic books for 50 years ago this month. That's right, in July of 1974, I got Captain America 176 and never looked back. Today I'm showing you Jack Kirby's phenomenal Commandy. So this was the storyline about the last boy on Earth, and I'm not showing off a slab or anything. I, I have I have this book raw, but 9-8 white, I haven't seen a better one. Uh, if there's a 9-9 nine, nine white out there, I'd go after it. But I love this story. So this is about the last boy on Earth. Jack Kirby was probably inspired by watching the motion picture series Planet of the Apes. Because in this story, Commandy is one of the few English-speaking human beings, and most, peop most human beings are now kind of on the dumb side, but animals and all kinds of wild creatures now have intelligence. And this story is phenomenal. I believe I picked up, the first issue for me was issue 19, if I'm correct, it was featuring a storyline called Chicago Land, which was kind of a, a, a mob era Disneyland. And this story was just filled with wild ideas. And for those of you who like the inking of Mike Royer, Mike Royer kind of like completely took over this series and the inks, it's phenomenal. It's Kirby at his finest and also, look, I'll acknowledge it's a slab. Some people like slabs, some don't. Don't worry, I have this book every which way. I have it raw, I have the omnibus, I can read my commandy whenever I want. But to have this slab in this particular condition is just a way of saying, you know, I love commandy. So check in tomorrow for my next reveal on Brian Polito's 50th anniversary comic collecting celebration. Talk soon.